gentlemen, welcome to the historic Zanies Comedy Club and Snub Fest Chicago. Please welcome to stage your host for this evening, Mr. Sam Good goddamn time tonight. Hello, my name is Sam Norton. Hello, audience. Hello. Hello. All right. Uh, who knows what's going on tonight? Just round of applause. I'm gonna make sure we're all on the same page tonight. Okay. <laughs> One person said it. Four people clapped. Okay. Uh, for all of you who don't know, if you just came out to see a show, you are in luck. You got to be a part of Stepfest. You can see all the posters and stuff going on right now. Stepfest is a uh, local comedy festival of uh, the talented, most uh, funny people from all around the country uh, that at first couldn't get into other shows, and now they can get into this show. So, you guys got like the second best comedians you can get. It's going to be a fucking stellar night. You're looking at one of the winners last year, so uh, this is like top brass of second, third tier comedians. This is, I upgraded to a vest. Maybe next year I'll get a leather jacket. So that's what's going on tonight. We have 11 fantastic comedians. I'm going to be your host. We're going to have a good time. we got some judges. We'll get to know them soon, but I feel like we should get to know me since I'm uh, loud and a weird fucking pixie. Uh, you guys are going to have to keep seeing me a bunch. So like I said, my name is Sam Norton. I just got uh, married this last year. I joined that. Thank you. That's very nice. Hey, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I got myself out of being a white trash accident. That was fun. Uh, I got money now, guys. You can see I got a vest. I'm doing pretty goddamn well for myself, right? right? I like to tell people that I did, you know, I got. I worked very hard, all right? I worked very hard and married a doctor. That's what you got to do, okay? It's 2015. Stop having pride, fellas. Get yourself a rich woman being gold digging son of a bitch. That's what I'm doing, all right? I call myself a feminist. Ladies, if you call yourself a feminist, this is what you're fighting for. This is what equality looks like. <laughs> Fellas, get with it. Be a feminist. Let them get paid more. This is a, my whole white trash family. We all did it, all right? I have uh, five brothers and sisters. All right, all of us, we haven't done shit with our lives, all right? In my family right now, we have four doctorates, three master's degrees, and one master sergeant ranking in the U.S. Air Force. Yeah. All of which married into the family. That's how you fucking it. The North Dick has got the Midas touch because it keeps striking gold, alright? Fellas, <laughs> be a gold digger. It's awesome. I don't know why, well, like, so, oh, I got a job. Stop having pride. Why do you just let, just let a powerful woman take care of you? Like, this is my job. I tell dick jokes for a living. I go home, she pays the bills, I play Xbox and suck on titties. Like, it's an amazing life. <laughs> Guys always go like, whoa, what, what, your wife makes all the money? What, did you lose your balls? Yeah, and her gilded pussy. It's amazing, man. <laughs> oh my God, that's right, man. I got the greatest life in the world. I, uh, I'm in an interracial relationship. Anybody ever do that before? All right, so I'd be more progressive. The rest of you are from the 1950s. Uh, <laughs> Guys gotta get together. Make uh, Obama or, uh, you know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Uh, there's a master race. You gotta mix them all. That's what I think. So that's what me and my wife would think about doing. Uh, kids. I love my wife a lot. I married a Chinese Canadian, a Canadian. Thank you. It's pretty good. It's real eye opening because, you know, different cultures, man. I'm originally from Wichita, Kansas. It's very homogenized there. You know, don't woo that place, okay? And also don't woo homogenization. Woo! Everything's the same! No culture! Anyway, I. I'll give you guys the best example of like when it's terrible when cultures clash. Like I felt super awkward, right? It was the first time I met my father-in-law, right? And when, whenever you meet your father-in-law for the first time, no matter who you are, no matter what the background, it's already scary. Because basically what you're doing is like I was basically saying, oh, can I marry your daughter? And that question basically says, hey, I'm going to give your daughter some jewelry and then do I have permission to fuck her for the rest of my life? Like that's a weird conversation to have with another man, right? <laughs> 
But here's the thing, my father-in-law, uh, he's Chinese. He's from China, speaks Chinese, like full-blown Chinese, all right? And it's really intimidating when I met him for the first time because he speaks as much English as I do Chinese, which is muy poquito, I guess. <laughs> Not a lot, right? And uh, so I wanted to impress him. I want, he's going to be my future dad, so I wanted to impress him. He comes to Chicago, and I, wanted, I was like, you know what? I'll take you out to dinner. I'll take him out to Chinatown, right? No pain <laughs> express. Top tier for me, you know what I mean? So we take the red line. Uh, any of you for, not from Chicago, it doesn't matter. I, I'll just tell you the situation that we were in. All right, Chicago's a very segregated city. Uh, very white on the north side, very dark on the south side, all right? And Chinatown is, uh, you know, uh, on the south side. So we take it, and we're on the red line, right? And it's me, my wife, and my father-in-law, and then like 35 black people going home from work, right? And it's not that big a deal until my wife and my father-in-law start arguing at the top of their lungs in Mandarin Chinese, right? And what I can gather through context is that my father-in-law saying something like, ah, I don't want to get out of Fada, this stop, ah, because if we get out of Fada, this stop, then uh, I don't want to have to be walking back and forth, right? And I know he was saying a lot, because in English, where we say uh, in Mandarin Chinese, they say the word nega. Uh -oh. Yeah, okay, see how your butt was clenched up? How the fuck do you think I felt in that situation, all right? My father in law screaming at the top of his lungs, just bow down, down, nega, nega, bow down, and just vaguely pointing to everybody on the fucking train, making it look like I trained a 50 year old Chinese man to call everyone the N word. I'm like, I didn't fucking do this. I just met this one. Kill him. I just want to dim some. I don't care. <laughs> Word. My father was a dickhead. <laughs> Those culture clashes. The first time I met my mother-in-law, same thing. Very Chinese, right? She was cooking us dinner, and I was doing some prep work. I was just sitting there being a goofball, and I had some tomatoes I was prepping, and I started singing that song, like, oh, you say tomato, and I say tomato. You say tomato, and I say tomato, tomato. <laughs> All right, so you guys get it, right? Here's the thing, uh, tomato, okay to say. Tomato in uh, Mandarin Chinese means motherfucker. Didn't know that, yeah. I'm just sitting over there like, you say tomato and I say motherfucker. Like she was pissed off for like a week. <laughs> Is anybody in love in here? Is anybody married? Round of applause. Yeah, I guess those two things, hopefully they're not mutually exclusive, but uh, that's good. I feel like, uh, I don't know, I want to see how dark you guys are going to get tonight. i got to push the envelope to see, get the, the crowd. You guys seem real fun, so we're going to go into this. Um, I, uh, I really, I don't know, I love my wife very much. I, I adore that I, I worship her, and I don't want to live without her. And I feel like in this country, we, uh, I, I don't know, I'm a comedian, I don't take a lot of things seriously, and that includes death, right? A lot of people take it way too seriously. I feel like this is America, right? If, you, if you're going to go out, you should go out on your own terms, you know, carpe diem. That's like, this is the whole way that the like whole country was built. It's like, you don't fucking tell me what to do, I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want, right? And yet, when it comes to death, we're all like, oh, we'll just lay in a bed. No! You should be able to pick whatever you want. If you want to have someone push you out naked out of a plane with a fucking flamethrower, just, ah! Just do that! Sell tickets to it! You'll pay the funeral costs! It'll be amazing, right? I'll tell you what me and my wife plan on doing, right? I know you guys are buttholed up real tight, but just listen, all right? Uh, we're doing this for you. It's gonna because we, we don't want to live without each other, but we also don't want to be assholes. We want to make it entertaining for everybody, all right? So one day you may see me on fucking like, television, be like, oh, comedian Sam Norton had terminal cancer, and this is what happened. This is what me and my wife plan on doing. We plan on going out and buying a gun, right? Go out and buy a gun. Then she's gonna walk into a bank, hop in the line. I'm gonna come in right behind her. I'm gonna pull out my gun and be like, all right, there's a stick up. Everybody put your fucking hands up! This is a goddamn robbery! Dude, just blow out my brains, right? Everybody's gonna be like, what the hell is going on? The second that someone puts their hands down, my wife's gonna pull out her gun and be like, he said keep your fucking hands up! <laughs> Dude, just blow out her brains. Everybody's gonna be like, what the hell is going on? They're gonna feel every human emotion, like terrified, relieved, happy. Nobody's gonna put their hands down. It's gonna be a 72 hour standoff. Like, don't put your hands down. Somebody else has got a gun. There's a sleeper cell in here. We're gonna make it even more confusing. Both wear matching hats with confetti underneath it. Just blah! Everybody's gonna be like, oh, it's terrifying, but festive. I don't know how to feel right now. Alright, comics, now you know what not to do. Don't kill yourself twice in a joke. This is why I'm here. 
Okay. Maybe on something a little less uh, gravitas. <laughs> I, uh, I did say at the beginning of my set, I, uh, I, am, uh, I am a feminist, uh, but a lot of guys get turned off by that, like, uh, it, it really just means you want to be treated equally. And I, I'm a feminist not for, like, women, I'm a feminist selfish-wise. Like, I want to be treated the same. Like, women keep thinking that it's terrible to be a woman nowadays, but it's worse to be a five-foot-five five man. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a tiny little pixie with a thin wrist and smart-ass mouth. Nobody gives a shit about me, right? Like, you're a man, right? If your woman was getting beat up, you'd fucking stand up for her, but not me, right? You'd never stand up and be like, hey, stop hitting that child. Not once. You wouldn't do that. Nobody's ever patted me on the tush, called me pretty, bought me a drink. No. Nobody, and I need that attention more than every woman in here, okay? I'm the one with the best in front of a hundred people trying to get their attention because my father didn't love me enough. You know what I mean? Like, I want the same equality. I want that. I want to be called, I just want to feel like, not a shitty dude. Like, I can't be a man. I'm this, I know what I look like. I'm a tiny little, you know, leprechaun. Fucking nothing. And I have the soul of a sassy black lesbian. Like, I can't. I'm in this weird gender purgatory where nobody loves me enough. I just wish I was a woman. And, like, this whole idea that women aren't tough. Like, oh, all women are delicate flowers. No, what? You're all fucking tree bark. Are you kidding me? I know, I'm not going to speak for every guy in here. I know that every woman in here is way tougher than me. That's a fucking fact, right? Because I know every woman in here has bled one week out of every month and will do so for three or four decades. You might be immortal. Why the hell am I holding the door open for you? I cry when I poop too hard. I can't compete with women. So many women have managed to push a whole human body out of a hole in your human body. It makes you bleed. They had to stitch you up and you fucking named it. Are you fucking psycho? So, and then you like fed it? Like what? That's good. Guys, if a baby fell out of your dick hole today, you wouldn't name it. You'd be like, kill it. I don't want that thing. Now. I'm bleeding. I'm spotting. No. Anything that hurt me that much will never love me. Fucking kill it. No. I don't want to put it on my tent. Now. My sister gave birth to three kids. Three kids. After every single one of them, she walked out of the hospital two days later. Walked. Sir, out of the hot, how much of a badass bitch do you have to be to go into a hospital screaming, ah, and come out of the hospital going, boom, pick it up, I'm going to Kirsten, mama's got shit to do. <laughs> Jesus. All right, guys, you are nice and warmed up. Let's get to know. All right, yeah. Before we bring up your first comedic act, let's get to know your judges tonight. Uh, judge number one, uh, let's say uh, Sahar from Comedy Bar. You got the uh, you got the mic. Who's first up yeah. over there? Is it on? Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. Hi. How you doing? How'd you like my set? You still you still like me? Are we still friends? I think we're still friends. All right. Just thinking. All right. That's fun. Known her for five years. Doesn't give a shit about me. Okay. Like <laughs> you think the audience is good? You think they're nice and warmed up? They could, do, they could do a little bit better? All right, well, listen, you guys heard it. You got to give it a little bit more, all right? Go. Let, let her hear it. That was, a, that was a really scary noise that I made, uh, but it was good. Uh, who's up next? We got uh, Jason Hyman. Uh, give it up for Jason Hyman. Right in Chicago Magazine. How you doing, buddy? I'm not freezing enough yet. Can you have Zanies crank up the air conditioning just a little bit more? Uh, we can maybe do it. Can we also turn the lights on sun? Can we do that? Because my balls are really sweaty up here. I'm well, doing great, thanks. Okay, you doing good? You, you liking the show so far? I'm super I love your jokes. That's why I was here last year. Oh, you I was were? part of the reason that you walked away triumphantly. Thank you. Well, tell the well, rest of my audience. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, all right, we're going to move on to uh, Cody. Uh, give it up. Give it up to Jason. Come on, give it up to Jason. All right. We got uh, Jason Ray from Laugh Factory. Is he here? No. No? All right, how about Cody Melcher, my good buddy from 100 Proof Comedy? Are you uh, here? I am here. Give it up for Cody Melcher, 100 Proof Comedy. You guys look like he's the one planning himself like a... Uh, <laughs> I put the fan down, I'm good. Oh, you put the fan down? It's, I don't it, find it too cold. It's not a Southern Baptist church in here anymore? <laughs> uh, I think, by the way, Sam, I think, you're, I think you're a beautiful flower and I'll buy you a drink later. Oh, thank you very much. Give it up for Cody. Uh, <laughs> my colleague and the man. He'll be the one laughing maniacally in the back. I don't know if you guys, there it is. That's the one that's on the jack of the box coming out to scare you. 
<laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we're going to come up with your first comedian. Now, here's the thing. You guys are real fun. Uh, we went the gamut. I tried to find the needle. I think we found it, right? Are we all having fun tonight? All right? <laughs> all right? I will guarantee that you're going to have some of the best comedy you will see in a very long time tonight, but I need you to just get 20%. That's all we asked for, all right? We'll get 80, but you got to get 20% of energy, all right? So when I bring somebody up, just fucking go balls to the wall, have some fun tonight. There's no kids, hopefully, all right? We're all drinking irresponsibly, and we'll drive home. It'll be real fun, okay? So let's have a good time tonight and support live comedy. Can we do that? Yeah. I said, can we fucking do that?